Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve a section B question from real numbers chapter. Now this question has an OR question as well. That is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So let us start with the A question now. Find the smallest number which is divisible by both 644 and 462. So here to find out the smallest number which is perfectly divisible by these two numbers, we have to find out the LCM of the given two numbers. So let us start with the prime factorization of the given numbers here. So here we have written both the numbers together to find out the LCM. Now both the numbers are ending with an even number. So both the numbers can be divisible by 2. So here we can write 2, 3 times is 6, 2, 2 times is 4 and again 2, 2 times is 4. So 2, 322 times gives us 644. Now let us divide 462 by 2. So 2, 2 times is 4. 2, 3 times is 6 and 2, 1 times is 2. Now let us look at 322. This again goes in the table of 2. That is 2, 1 times is 2. So you get a remainder here as 1. So we get 12. So 2, 6 times is 12 and 2, 1 times is 2. Now 231 is ending with 1. So it is not divisible by 2. So let us write this number as it is. Now the next number 161 goes in the table of 7. That is 7, 2 times is 14. You get a remainder as 2. So you get 21. So 7, 3 times is 21. Now 23 again goes in the table of 7. That is 7, 3 times is 21. Now you get a remainder of 2 again. So you get 21. So 7, 3 times is 21. Now 23 is a prime number. So let us take it as it is. 23, 1 times is 23. And 33 does not go in the table of 23. So it comes down. Now 33 goes in the table of 3, that is 3, this first number stays as it is and 3 11 times is 33. Now finally 11 is also a prime number, so we are going to take 11, here comes 1 and 11 1 times is 11. Now these are all the factors when multiplied together gives us the smallest number that is the LCM. So let me write here, so the lowest common multiple of 644 and 462 is the product of all the factors we got just now that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 7 times 11 times 23. Now when you multiply all these numbers you get the LCM as 21,252 and this is going to be the smallest number which is going to be perfectly divisible by 644 and 462. So here we have written the smallest number which is divisible by both of these numbers is 21,252. So this is our answer. Now let us move on to the OR question. Two numbers are in the ratio 4 is to 5 and their HCF is 11. Find the LCM of these numbers. Now let us try to understand the question first. Now two numbers are given in a form of a ratio that is 4 is to 5. We do not know what the numbers are but we know that they form a ratio of 4 is to 5. And the HCF that is the highest common factor of these two numbers is given as 11. We need to find out LCM of these numbers. Let the two numbers be 4x and 5x where x is the common factor. Since this is given as a ratio we are going to consider the numbers as 4x and 5x and x will be the common factor. And we know that the highest common factor given in the question is 11. So here HCF is the common factor. So x becomes the HCF which is equal to 11. Now since we got the value of x, let us plug in the value of x here. So the numbers become 4x that is 4 times 11 equal to 44 and 5x becomes 5 times 11 that is 55. Now we have got the two numbers that is 44 and 55. Since we have to find out the LCM here, the relationship between the two numbers, the HCF and LCM is given by the formula. HCF of the two numbers times LCM of the two numbers is equal to the product of the two numbers A and B. Here the value of HCF is given as 11. So we have written 11 times we need to find out the LCM is equal to the two numbers we found just now are 44 times 55. Now we are going to take 11 on the other side of equal to sign so that it divides the right hand side. So 44 times 55 over 11. Now here we can divide 44 and 11 or 55 and 11. I am going to divide these two numbers that is 11 1 times is 11 and 11 4 times is 44. So here the LCM simplifies as 4 times 55 or the value of LCM is going to be 
220. So this is the LCM of the two numbers which were in the form of a ratio 4 is to 5. That is 220. I hope you understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.